So, uh, the main goal of uh, this uh, second lecture is to construct uh, uh, Fontaine's uh, rings of periodic periods. And uh, uh, here is some uh, motivation for uh, these constructions. So let's uh, consider a smooth projective variety over a local field K. So one can associate to it different cohomology theories. So if we want to get uh, periodic representations, we can consider a tal cohomology of X. So this gives rise to periodic representations. Uh, there are also our cohomology theories, the Durham cohomology, algebraic Durham cohomology, which has another structure, so it, uh, we lose a Galois action, but uh, we have uh, some filtration on these groups. And uh, uh, one where exists a so-called uh, crystalline cohomology of uh, Bertelou. Uh, which uh, uh, has a structure Frobenius section here. <coughs> and this cohomology in a particular case of a P divisible group implicitly appears in a, a course of uh, uh, Foodie uh, and uh, uh, Grotendieck asked uh, if one can uh, uh, relate directly this cohomology uh, theories uh, without passing by uh, the geometric object uh, directly from one to structure to another one. And uh, at the same time, um, uh, Tate uh, asked if these uh, Galois representations have uh, some particular properties. So, uh, in particular, if we can, uh, uh, if there exists a periodic analog of a hot state decomposition for these uh, uh, objects. And uh, uh, this gives some uh, motivations uh, to uh, uh, and some ideas uh, what kind of object can appear here. So uh, uh, now uh, I'll just uh, briefly uh, recall some general principles of Fontaine's construction, of Fontaine's approach. Definition. So, uh, we will say, uh, we'll call uh, um, GK regular ring. So, regular has absolutely nothing with uh, usual regularity. So, uh, ring, some uh, commutative. Uh, QPA algebra, say B, uh, with uh, um, a QP linear action of the Galois group, uh, satisfying uh, the following uh, conditions. Uh, maybe I will add uh, immediately that it is integral. Uh, such that so the first condition uh, 
for each uh, each b in the algebra such that uh, gk uh, sorry um, such that the line qp line generated by b is gk stable is uh, invertible. So, uh, just before uh, formulate the second condition, we need some construction. So, uh, let's consider the uh, GK invariance of B. And uh, from the first condition, it follows that this is a field. Sorry? Uh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I said that this is a uh, sign. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, for any uh, periodic representation, we define the functor uh, db. So, sorry, so we define the functor db. Uh, by associating to any periodic representation the Galois invariant of its tensor product with B, and uh, we immediately say that this is a, an E vector space. So dB is a function from the category of periodic representations to the category of uh, vector spaces over E. Okay. And uh, uh, we uh, can uh, consider the map alpha V from the tensor product of dBV, so this is an uh, A-vector space, tensor product over uh, E with B, and uh, send it to the tensor product of V with B, just uh, induced by Uh, the map which sends this uh, tensor to this element. Yeah. And uh, the condition two says that uh, alpha V should be uh, injective. Uh, for all uh, V. Definition. So, uh, Fontaine says that uh, V is uh, B admissible. Oh, sorry. Maybe just from uh, the condition two, it follows that the dimension of uh, dBV over E is bounded by the dimension of V. And uh, one says that uh, V is uh, B admissible.
if uh, one has an equality here. So, uh, one can uh, easily prove uh, the following uh, statement. So, this is a technical statement. So, the category say rep BGK of B admissible representations is a Tanekan category. And uh, Uh, the functor db is exact and faithful. So, uh, uh, if we assume that uh, v is uh, be admissible, one can ask if um, uh, db of v uh, contains enough, uh, encodes enough of information to recover v. And uh, sure, it depends on uh, the ring uh, on uh, b. So if uh, b has uh, uh, some important extra structure, so we'll see that it is possible, but uh, it is not always possible because a priori we have just here uh, e vector spaces, and uh, so we have a, no, a priori no structure here for uh, arbitrary b. Uh, let's uh, uh, consider some examples of uh, regular rings. First, try the algebraic closure of K. Uh, so uh, it is regular because this is a field and uh, uh, E is just K. Then uh, be admissible representations are representations with finite image. This follows from Hilbert 90 theorem, non-commutative Hilbert 90. So in each space, uh, K bar uh, vector space with a similar linear action of GK, one can find an invariant lattice. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, the Next field uh, to check is the algebra, uh, yeah, the completion of K bar. Uh, and uh, uh, here it's much more difficult to understand what representations are uh, B admissible or C admissible. But the result. The answer is the following. Uh, C admissible representations are uh, representations, say, rho, such that the image of the inertia subgroup is finite.
uh, is equal to k, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it is not, I mean, it is not uh, uh, absolutely easy, but with are some results of Tate. Yeah. So, uh, this is a consequence of some theory of uh, theorem of Shankar Sen. Uh, so, in particular, uh, this uh, example says that the periodic completion of, uh, of k, or k bar, uh, is uh, too small even uh, to recover uh, representations with an infinite image of an inertia group. For example, the uh, cyclotomic character. So if you consider, for example, that Zp1 denote the projective limit of Pn's roots of unity and uh, Qp1, the associated representation, So the Galois group acts on uh, QP1 by the cyclotomic character. And uh, it is uh, not C admissible. So, in some sense, one can say, say that uh, C doesn't contain the periodic to PI, the period of a multiplicative group. And uh, this uh, in this form, it fo this follows from uh, uh, the result of Tate, we were, in some sense, all this theory was initiated, maybe on p divisible groups of 16s. Okay. Uh, the next, uh, no. we can try just to add formally uh, the period of a multiplicative group. So we denote by BHT the following ring where Oh, 2pi is the integral of uh, dx by x along uh, the circle. And the periodic circle is, is uh, this representation, because uh, this is uh, a periodic analog of, uh, 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 of uh, H1 of uh, singular uh, homology. Yeah, but I will talk about with this in more in detail. But one should uh, consider uh, one should consider two pi as the period, as the result of integration or the pairing between cohomology and homology. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, but I mean that if you consider the uh, integration, uh, I mean, in a naive sense, uh, you'll never recover this period because uh, it will not be compatible with the Galois action. And this is exactly the point here. So we, we take 
any candidate is bad here because it is not uh, his behavior under the action of GK is not good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, T is just a variable here, uh, and we define the GK action on this ring uh, setting. G of T is a acts on a G X and T by the cyclotomic character. So in some sense, we just add the this period of a multiplicative group, and the answer. So B of state is a regular. GK regular, it is uh, easy to uh, check using, but using again with the results of Tate. Uh, and um, uh, uh, a representation V is uh, uh, admissible. If and only if it is a hot state. So uh, the definition of a hot state representation is the following. Oh. So this means that if we denote by Vc the tensor product of V with C, it is equipped with a semilinear Galois action. And we consider for each uh, i in Z, Vci, which are by definition are elements of Vc such that the Galois group x and x like the i-th power of a cyclotomic character. Uh, so uh, by, defin that by construction, those are k-vector spaces. So we can take the tensor product of each space with C over K. Sorry? Over K, because uh, uh, there are Galois, inver uh, uh, Galois invariants, yeah. And uh, K is Galois invariant. Uh, so uh, we can take uh, this uh, tensor product and take the direct sum of this tensor of these tensor products over all i, and uh, it injects in uh, v tensor c over Qp. Uh, so this uh, again this follows from. Uh, the admissibility of B or state, or again from the results of state on invariance, Galois invariance of C. And uh, uh, V is a hot state if uh, inequality holds here. And uh, this uh, 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 isomorphism if it, if it exists, can be considered as a, a, a pi de analog of a hot state decomposition. Uh, so uh, those are uh, examples of admissible representations before Fontaine. And uh, sorry. R. Yeah, uh, uh, I uh, with non-trivial VCI. Uh, 
Ja. 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 But we have here all powers of T. Yeah. Uh, uh, it depends, so it, for a moment is not important, yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, uh, but this is a completely abstract situation because, uh, yeah, for, uh, uh, to prove that this holds for a tal homology, this is a theorem, theorem of faultings. It is not, I mean, uh, yes, it's tautological if we assume this. And uh, uh, the admissibility, as I said, this follows from results of Tate. And concretely, Tate proved that we, if we take C twisted by the uh, cyclotomic character and we consider its uh, Galois invariance, so they are zero if i is non-zero. This is k if i is zero. Yeah. Uh, so the problem uh, uh, with uh, B H uh, Tate is that or Tate is that this ring has a very uh, poor structure. So we uh, it uh, recovers only uh, hot state weights with multiplicities. Uh, okay, so uh, now we pass to the construction uh, of uh, Fontaine rings. Uh, as a reference, uh, uh, a complete exposition is in uh, uh, two papers of Fontaine in period uh, periodic. The risk so, paragraph two uh, rings of periodic periods. Okay, uh, so uh, we from the beginning, we use uh, the notation and results uh, of uh, uh, Kiran's uh, lecture. Uh, oh, C is uh, the completion of K bar. And uh, we consider the tilt of C. And uh, we consider uh, its ring of integers. Uh, and uh, so this is a perfect ring of characteristic uh, P. And uh, we uh, need the ring uh, A infinity, which is the ring of width vectors with coefficients in this ring. And uh, uh, we consider Fontaine's theta map from A infinity to OC, which uh, associates to each uh, sum. So, infinite sum, each element of A infinity can be written in this form. The sum of Xn sharp Pn. Uh, I think that the notation is the same, no? Uh, uh, the script E, it's, um, I mean, uh, the script E uh, 
appears in a characteristic P case. So in some sense, one can, it is not as exactly the same picture. Because uh, when we worked with uh, the ring uh, uh, OE script, we considered the width vectors of, uh, of a field. So in this context, we should consider this. And uh, this leads again to the theory of free gamma modulus. But the problem is that we here we have denominators because uh, we replace the ring of integers by the field. And uh, to connect, uh, I mean, this word to uh, the world of crystalline world, this is a big deal, which, uh, so this is a program of Fontaine realized by Berger, Colmez, and many other people. So, but we are in this situation now. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And uh, uh, I call that the kernel of theta. Uh, is a principal ideal generated by any uh, primitive element of degree one, which is in a kernel. Any primitive degree one. Uh, and uh, as, uh, in some uh, sense, uh, canonical choices, one can, uh, or almost canonical choices, uh, one can take uh, xi equal to p under script minus p, where this is uh, the element P, P power root of P, and so on, in OC tilt. And uh, tautologically, well, so one see immediately that it is of degree one, and uh, it, uh, uh, tet of this element is zero. Or another choice, uh, which is uh, another reasonable choice, is to take, start with element epsilon, taking a compatible <laughs> system of p n fruits of unity of uh, OC tilt. And so if you take epsilon minus one, we immediately see that it lives in the kernel, but it is not primitive. But if we divide it by epsilon one by p minus one. We get a primitive element. Okay. <clears throat> Now, uh, let's consider the ring A cre zero. So adding to A infinity the following elements. So we take this ring and uh, just by definition, this is a, a divided power envelope. of uh, the kernel of theta in A infinity. Maybe the motivation is that if you want to uh, 
construct some periods related to the crystalline cohomology. So divided powers are the sort of basic construction of crystalline cohomology. So it is reasonable to consider this ring. Uh, a crease plus is defined as the periodic completion of this ring. Uh, no, because this is generator of ideal. So if we add these elements, we add uh, all divided powers so of uh, the kernel. Uh, a Chris plus is the periodic completion of this ring. And uh, we also introduce uh, the plus. Uh, you are, yes, you are right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so we denote also by B Chris plus a Chris plus with where p is invertible, inverted. And uh, we already can remark that if we denote by t the logarithm of a Tischmuller lift of epsilon, so we, for us the logarithm is the usual power series, Then uh, uh, epsilon minus one lives in the kernel. Therefore, this lives in uh, acres plus. And uh, the Galois group acts on T exactly as we want. And therefore, uh, we recover the two periodic 2PI in this ring. And uh, we invert the element T because we need not only the period of uh, ZP1, but also the period of ZP minus 1. So we formally invert the period of uh, Tate motif. The, the, Define B Chris uh, as B Chris plus if inverted T. Okay. So, uh, what about uh, properties of this ring? So, the important thing is that. Uh, we have another structure on uh, A-infinity, the Frobenius structure. And uh, one can uh, check that the action of Frobenius extends to uh, decrease. So uh, the important thing is to check that, uh, so the point is to check that uh, it can, can be continued periodically, yeah? When we take the completion, we can again define the, the Frobenius uh, by continuity on A+, plus, but this is not uh, difficult. And finally, so B, Chris, is uh, equipped with uh, uh, Frobenius and also 
the Galois action. So uh, this is a crystalline ring of Fontaine. Now we'll construct another uh, ring, which is bigger. Oh, I mean that we take the completion, we take a, this is a, so it is automatically equipped with a periodic topology. But we can consider also other topologies. But till now we are happy with periodic topology. To define a crease plus, it's okay. So, oh, just to define. But if you want to do something, we need to consider a finer topology. So, topology on A and infinity, I'll talk about this later, but to now that's okay. Uh, another construction. Uh, So, we introduce uh, A infinity K as A infinity tensor with K. So, our, what we can take this tensor product? So the both rings um, contain the maximal unramified subextension of K. We take a tensor product over k0, maximum unified subextension, and uh, uh, the map theta extends to theta k from a infinity k to. Uh, C to C, yeah. Okay. So again, uh, the kernel of theta k is the principal ideal. Sorry. Here, p is not inverted, but ah, sorry. Yes, you are right. Yeah over OK0. Thank you. The usual A crease, I don't know. So there are many usual A crease, no, two maybe. Because, I mean, it depends. Uh, do you want to invert P or not? Yeah, but, yeah, so, uh, uh, you, you use uh, a crease plus, or eventually you invert only t, and you get a crease. Yes, we converted t. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, the ideal, uh, the kernel of theta k is a principal ideal, and uh, the intersection. the powers of this ideal is zero. So this is also some not well, some technical points to check. And we define B Duram K plus as the completion of a k infinity by the topology given by this ideal. So one can 
prove the following properties of this object. Sorry? Yes, it takes the same. Yeah. Uh, maybe not, not the same because came can be ramified, but we can take uh, something like uh, so if a pi is a uniformizer, we take pi script minus pi, where pi script are p fruits of a pi. Uh, Bidoram K plus is a complete discrete valuation field uh, uh, ring. With residue, uh, sorry, with uh, the maximal ideal, uh, maybe. First, I write the valuation. So, discrete valuation ring for uh, the valuation uh, defined as, as follows. So, the valuation of an element x is the maximal n such that uh, x lies in the kernel, in the nth power of a kernel of theta k. So, t the same T, which is well defined because uh, epsilon minus one lie in the kernel of theta k. So it converts for this discrete relation topology at least uh, is in B the RAM plus is a canonical a uniformizer for this valuation. So, uh, the residue field of BDRAM plus is uh, C. So, uh, yes, we all, always should be, uh, keep K for a moment. Yeah. Okay. But now uh, we can remark that. Uh, If we denote just by bidram plus bidram for, uh, uh, for example, for QP, uh, then uh, uh, we have an embedding. And uh, those are discrete valuation rings with the same residue field and uh, the same uniformizer. <laughs> so they are isomorphic. So they are equal. So we can write just B around plus. But from this, we see directly that each, the algebraic closure of K is contained in B uh, RAM plus. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the uh, period, uh, the ring of Durham periods is defined as uh, the field of fractions of uh, B Durham plus. So it is sufficient to invert T. And uh, this ring, uh, so this field has two structures. So it is equipped with a continuous Galois action. And also it is uh, equipped with a filtration. given by the discrete valuation. The both work because we can, uh, but uh, I mean, uh, this is a, another canonical. Uh, becomes. Yes, but uh, on this level we should do it. But after completion, the both choices are okay. Uh, so I will stop uh, quickly. Uh, we have a filtration here. And uh, Uh, the invariants under the action of uh, GK are, uh, so this is a field K. Uh, what else? So we cannot extend Frobenius to B Durham because uh, the kernel of theta is not uh, stable under the action of a Frobenius. So we have no Frobenius structure here. And uh, uh, just to finish, uh, we can embed of B crease in B Durham. So, which goes absolutely, uh, so the, um, if we have uh, some uh, element of uh, B crease, we can formally associate to it an element of B Durham. But to prove that this is correct, we need to uh, uh, consider some finer topology on B Durham. And so, here we should consider the topology Induced. So I will be uh, very uh, flu here because it is a technical point and uh, uh, it is impossible to do the details. But uh, we consider first the topology on A infinity. Uh, where the open uh, sets are the following. So let A be an ideal of OC tilt. So A runs uh, over uh, open uh, ideals here. And last Pn, V of uh, OC tilt. So this corresponds to the periodic topology. But we consider some weaker topology taking into account the evaluations. So the fact that uh, C tilt is a topolo has a topology, has evaluation. 
And uh, this induces some uh, topology on BDRAM, and one can check that the embedding is well defined, so continuous map, and uh, we can consider B Chris as a subring of BDRAM. Uh, so I stop here. <laughs>